All right, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be working on this 2018 Ford Fiesta ST, and it is a 2018. It's just the U.S. model. Uh, the U.S. didn't get the upgrades that the U.K. and uh, rest of the world got, so we're stuck with a, basically a leftover 2017 uh, Ford Fiesta. But that's okay. It's still a good car. 197 horsepower, uh, 202 torques, uh, and it's a lot of fun to drive. So, one of the problems is wheel hop. So today we're going to be installing this Cobb uh, lower motor mount to replace the factory weak motor mount. Like basically, you can almost shake the the engine. The, just with the factory motor mount in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to jack the car up on the left side, get under there. It's like five bolts basically that holds this thing in and we're going to get rid of our wheel hop and uh, it's too bad that you're not going to be able to see this once it's installed because it does look really really nice. Uh, solid rubber bushing in there with a couple of holes drilled out to give a little bit of flexibility but uh, it's much much stronger than the factory bushing or the factory mount so let's get everything set up and get my jack what you're going to need is a 13 millimeter deep well socket and a uh, I got a 3 8 ratchet but you can use you know whatever you got laying around uh, so let's get this started Always use a jack stand. Okay. Now we got it. Now we got it up high enough. What we're going to do is going to get under the car, remove the factory mount, and put this one on. So let's get into position. And there is the factory motor mount. When you pull it out. When you pull out, make sure you grab these bushings too because they will fall out. They're all 13 millimeter. Pull that out. And now you got these uh, bolts to remove. Nice long bolt. I'll oh, get that off. Down that on the table. Okay.
All right, there it is. Let's move to the table. All right, so here is the factory motor mount next to the Cobb motor mount. And you can see the difference here. Cobb motor mount's nice and solid. And this is the factory one. Look at, look at that. You just move it with your hand. So a couple of things. This is going to firm up our shifts. And it's also uh, all the turbo piping that's in, that connects the turbo to the intercooler, to the engine, is all going to be strengthened. Uh, part of the issue with these cars is when you have this factory, look at this, ST right there. But when you have the factory uh, motor mount, it moves so much that the uh, connections uh, for the uh, for the turbo uh, intercooler piping uh, get loose, and so all of a sudden you'll be driving along and you won't have any power. So just gotta get a hammer. There. All right. So the Cobb motor mount comes with this little washer. So you want to make sure the flat part goes to the inside. And then after that, it just goes on like that. So, we'll go ahead and get this installed and go for a test drive. Oh, well, stick that up there. There we go. Alright, so we still got that. Still got that spacer. Okay. See, I'm having to move the engine into place just to get it to line up easier. All right. And we'll tighten this up. Once we get these tight, we can reinstall that bracket that holds it to the turbo downpipe. Great. 
Okay. One. Two. That's installed. We'll just try and line up the holes, the marks with the original where they were originally torqued. So now, and we'll use that extension again. All right. Well, that was a short video. Uh, we've got the. We didn't even have to go in through the hood, but eh, you never know. Popped it open anyway. So this is much, much lighter than the cob piece. It's also much weaker. So uh, I know that this is a a little late to the party, but this is a 2018. Fiesta and being that it's Different from the rest of the world. I thought it merited uh, its own video. So I'll probably put like Fiesta ST USDM or something in the in the title. So That was it for this first uh, Fiesta video to the channel. There will be many more. I've got uh, a Mishimoto oil catch can going in, which is extremely important in these EcoBoost uh, direct injection engines. So, and I'll explain why in that video. But if you don't, if you don't have one, suffice it to say, in about 50,000 miles, you'll be replacing the head or at least having it taken off and cleaned. So, Cobb motor mount installed. It'll help. Uh, it'll help shift feel. It'll help all the, all the connections for the turbo to stay tight. So, you, you, you should still check them every, I don't know, 10,000 miles or so anyway. But it should help them remain tight. So uh, let me know below if you have any questions, if you liked the video, if you disliked the video. Uh, I'll be uh, making a new one soon on changing the headlights. If you think that's something you'd like to see, then let me know. So, all right, have a good day. Uh, drive safe and God bless America.